Survive in advance. The motto for all small schools in the historic March Madness tournament. Let's rewind to the 2012-2013 college basketball collegiate season. Nine brand new faces take the floor for the Wichita State Shockers. One of which is future NBA champion Fred Van Vliet serving as mainly a bench role to ignite the Shockers mid-game. The Shockers only returned several players with notable names like Dekeely Cotton, Ron Baker, and Evan Wessel. Led by fifth-year head coach Greg Marshall, the Shockers were timid but optimistic for the roster heading into the season. The Shockers began hot, winning nine straight games, tallying their first ranked win in their 19th game against Creighton. The Shockers went on to win two games in the Missouri Valley, eventually being eliminated by former ranked opponent Creighton. Going into the tournament, hopes were high for the Shockers to get a decent seating as they went 12-6 in the Missouri Valley Conference and had some solid wins against good teams. Sadly, they ended up getting the 9 seed in the West, with some very formidable opponents on the horizon. Their first opponent, 20th ranked Pittsburgh. The Shockers got off to a slow start, only scoring 26 in the first half, but their defense made up for it, smothering Pitt starters such as Steven Adams, holding him to 13 points. Yes, this Steven Adams. The Shockers reserve showed up big in this game with 21 points and 7 rebounds from Clay Anthony early. And Wichita stayed behind. Greg Marshall are headed to the round of 32 here in Salt Lake City. Ninth all-time tournament win for the Shockers. That was a whooping. Pittsburgh just took a whooping on national TV. Their next matchup in the round of 32 was against the University of Gonzaga. Bulldogs were a staggering 32-2 and in the number one seed in the West. Wichita State's defense failed to show up like they did in the prior game against Pitt. However, between their bench and starters, they managed to eke out a six-point win against the Bulldogs. Notable contributions from the Shockers include Ron Baker with 16 points, 4 assists, and 6 rebounds, and 16 from Clay Anthony Early. Stalling, Pan goes on a 3, and now yeah. will do it. Wichita State knocks off the number one team in the country, and the Shockers dancing to the Sweet 16. In the Sweet 16, the Shockers tipped off against the University of LaSalle a fellow underdog in the tournament as a 13 seed. The Shockers crushed the Explorers with a 14-point victory, out-rebounding LaSalle by 21 total rebounds, and again, another all-around great scoring performance by starters and bench players. Well, they're doing three games in five days to get here. They did that. They make it as far as the Sweet 16. LaSalle cut it to 11 twice. They got no closer. And Greg Marshall with a terrific job once again coaching his ninth seeded Wichita State Shockers. They're going to the Elite Eight for the first time since 1981. At this point in the tournament, teams and analysts started to notice the Cinderella story unfold before their eyes. The Shockers were hot and no one wanted to play them. In the Elite Eight, the Shockers played another high-ranked opponent, Ohio State, reaching national poll rankings of number seven. Ohio State was one of the Shockers' fiercest opponents by far. Wichita State was leading at the half, 35-22, but with a 44-point second-half performance, Ohio State pushed back against the Shockers. Once again, the Shockers survived and advanced, winning 70-66. Down by four, launching the three. And a shocker in Los Angeles. Wichita State is going to the Final Four. That brings us to April 4th, 2013. The stage is set, Atlanta, Georgia. The Shockers will play the number one seed of the Louisville Cardinals in the Final Four. The Cardinals have also had a tough trip to the Final Four, beating regular season 25th ranked Oregon and number six ranked Duke. Combined with sophomore player Kevin Ware going down with a gruesome leg injury, the Cardinals have had just as tough of a trip to the Final Four as the Shockers. Their roster consists of future NBA players Montrez Harrell, Georgia Dang, Russ Smith, and Peyton Siva. The Shockers start the game hot, having a one-point lead going into halftime. The Cardinals, however, turn it on in the second half, outscoring the Shockers 47-42. With eight seconds left, the Shockers foul Dang, sending him to the line where he sinks the first but bricks the second. Down three, the Shockers have a chance to send it to overtime. Will they send it to guard Ron Baker for the three-pointer? Following the rebound, Louisville ties up guard Ron Baker, forcing a jump ball, giving Louisville possession. Louisville sinks both free throws. Not a lot of time left, 8.8. Yeah. 
Kevin Ware can't, he can't stand to look. He didn't want to look down at his leg last week. He doesn't want to look at the free throw now. Tell you one thing, Ed Gunton's told him, don't foul, guys, don't foul. And he's trying to, he's thinking about the next possession already. And he missed oh, it, missed though. It. A, a chance, chance for Wichita chance. State. And a tie-up, and it's Louisville's ball. Oh, oh. Tell you one man, open a possession. Get rid of Final, 72. 68. Despite the comeback by the Cardinals, the Wichita State starters had a solid game, with Clay Anthony Early, Ron Baker, and Carl Hall all scoring in the double digits, and another 9 points from Tequila Cotton. This historic run by the 2013 Shockers just goes to show you how under the radar great teams can go when entering the tournament. With a young team and lots of fresh new faces, they showed out in the tournament, becoming one of the lowest seeded teams to ever make the Final Four. The Shockers serve as a great what-if story. What if they had a better game performance by bench players? What if they weren't on the losing end of a controversial jump ball call? Ladies and gentlemen, I leave you with survive in advance. Oh, a chance, chance for Wichita State, and a tie-up, and it's Louisville's ball. Oh, oh.